So I got extensions and it's called SP Gears in brackets NJG. No idea. Same sort of thing. Brings it up. Number of teeth, pressure angles, radiant. We'll stick with the uh, the basics and we'll mm -hmm. press OK. Oh, this is some sort of, yeah, don't understand. So there we go. We've got a gear to start with. It always comes in for some reason dished in the middle. So if we click on the middle, we'll pull it up, switch on the top. I'll just make a little, things a little bit easier. It doesn't matter about the bottom. And we'll find the center of there. We use our center finder. So one gear there. Click away. We'll highlight this. And then we'll do uh, on the edge control. And we'll go along the red axis so it constrains it. And then we'll move it across. Get it roughly in position there. It's that will do for now. You can obviously adjust these to get a bit tighter. But some of them like a little bit of a gap for the uh, for it to work. But anyway, so you've got your couple of gears. Easy enough to do. You can change the amount of teeth, cog size, you name it, you can change it. But then what you can do, there's a, I've been playing with MS Physics. I'll just show a little bit of it because it's got lots of stuff. It's well worth another video. So if we want to play with these, what we do is MS Physics, it's, another, it's a toolbar this time. And we'll go along and it's got on the top there, motor, adjust motor joint. So we'll click on that. We'll find the middle, which we already found. And we click on, and then you've got to find the axis. So it just wants to go everywhere, but try and get on the blue axis. On the blue axis, and there we go. And there's different ways to do this one, but use the same tool, the motor one, in the middle, but come through the bottom this time, on the blue axis. Obviously, different rotation. So then we'll click on this on the joint connection tool. Click on, click on the first gear, press control, and onto the arrow. Same with this one on the foot gear, onto the arrow. And in theory, we should have made ourselves some turning gears now. Don't worry about that falling out the sky, that's a servo there. So obviously, whatever you have on your sketch is affected by this, because I had a servo set up over there. And then you can go into your UI on this, and this is all MS Physics. Very, very, what you can't do. So, uh, there we go, speed. We'll give it a bit more speed if you want. 